Hi, I'm Soren Kaplan, one of the co-founders of Praxy, and I wanted to provide you with an overview of how to think about designing in artificial intelligence to your problem-solving processes, uh, problem-solving related to projects, or if you're doing innovation or product development, whatever it may be, being able to use artificial intelligence can make you move faster, more effectively, and give you better ideas and solutions to the things you're trying to do. So what we've done, at least, is create a, created a kind of series of steps to lead someone through thinking that is all empowered by AI. So for example, what we have created, and anybody could do this theoretically themselves in ChatGPT or Gemini by creating a series of very structured prompts. But our sense, if you want to build an AI application uh, or provide one to your team, you want to give a structure, a predefined structure that really captures the essence of how to lead someone through the thinking needed to provide that prompt content that then gets you the kind of output from artificial intelligence that's really meaningful. So what we've done here is created a form, basically, that provides you know a, a, the problems definition, what's the name of this problem you're, you're dealing with, provide a little background, give a problem statement, do, what the desired outcome is you want and how you know you'll be successful. How do you measure that success like a KPI? So in this case, we're, we're talking about employee absenteeism. Maybe we're in a manufacturing plant. We've, you know, we've seen increased absenteeism from 5% to 15% recently and people you know aren't showing up on time and and we need to to address that and we want to kind of get that back to normal levels so you can essentially fill this out um to the best of your ability and you you know kind of move this through the analysis when you click this button artificial intelligence actually provides some information for you around root causes that might exist and so what you're able to do is essentially get the input from ai choose which of these seems most reasonable to you based on your situation, and then select them, basically define the root cause. You might copy and paste it or, or embellish on it. And then you move through the next step of the problem solving you know, uh, process where you define your solution. And so you click this button and then you get a solution that essentially will give you ideas for what you can do. So you might want to do all of these things, but let's just say you, you pick one of them um, and you might, you know, transportation might be the problem um, for whatever reason. And so if you provide transportation, that will help dramatically address the, um, the, the problem of absenteeism. So then basically you select that solution. And once you select the solution, then it gives you an action plan. Uh, so the AI will look at based on what you want to do in the solution, how do you get there? And so it gives you a bunch of tasks and then it'll actually pre-populate this, uh, this, this project management um, widget that we have here. But the idea is that you want to give your team, give your organization or create for yourself a structure to lead you through the inputs that are needed to set context for the AI, get inputs from the AI, choose the best inputs to then have the AI build out ideas for you, select the best ideas, and then use AI to generate the action plan. So that's essentially how to develop, design, and use an AI-powered problem-solving process.